Hello students in our previous video we learned about watershed management it is the area of the land that drains or sheds water into a specific water body and then helps this water seep into a bigger body of water such as a lake or a river or an ocean we also learned about traditional methods of water management that worked and balanced excellently the primary and the secondary sources of management and i asked you what if you are living in urban areas or large cities is building bunds or digging a lake or pit possible the answer is clearly no any such kind of traditional or indigenous method of water conservation is not possible in urban areas This is because they are crowded and have no space for the new construction of such structures. Then how can you harvest water here? Simple. By setting up rooftop water collecting units. Let us learn about this method today. It is called rainwater harvesting. What does this term mean? As the name itself says, it is the method of collecting and storing rain water for future use have you ever considered how much water could be saved if rain water falling on the building roofs was collected and stored yes the rain water that falls on the roofs of houses apartments commercial buildings or even open areas can be collected and is directed into the percolation pits through the pipes for filtration after filtration the rain water enters the recharge pits or ground wells and builds up ground water this setup can save a lot of water from just running away and it's mixing in saline water the main purpose of rain water harvesting is to make the rain water percolate under the ground so as to recharge the ground water level this is very critical for urban areas because in such cities roads and bridges don't allow water to seep into the ground directly just like in villages where soils are there so recharging the underground water table during the monsoon is really important in urban areas Other than this method of rainwater harvesting in urban areas there are some other methods used by village locals as well one of them is digging an underground tank just like we did for rainwater harvesting villages or locals also dig up tank called eris to hold rainwater it is one of the traditional water harvesting system in tamil nadu We call that eris is also one of the method of watershed management that we saw in the last video. Eris are constructed in such a way that if the water in one area overflows, water automatically gets diverted to the area of the next village. And how is this possible? Simple. All these areas are interconnected when they are built. Isn't it a great idea? Yes, indeed. There are several benefits of rainwater harvesting. One, it helps to overcome the rapid depletion of groundwater levels by recharging them. This is because water can seep into and spread over a large area. Secondly, underground water does not evaporate and thus can be stored for a long time for future use. Also, water stored in the ground is not contaminated by human and animal wastes and hence can be used for drinking purposes. It reduces flooding and soil erosion caused by the surface runoff of water. This underground water also serves as a source of water for all plants and trees. Thus, when each of us saves and harvests water, It makes it easier to prevent misuse and management of the water, a precious resource. 
In our next video, we will see one more resource, fossil fuels.